Welcome physicists and I want to talk you through how to do the hang time part of the lab because there's no video that goes along with that and I think some of you are having a little bit of trouble. So let's see what we can do. So first note that we have the three equations that we've learned so far right here and we're probably going to need to use at least one of them. You're going to need to collect data, do your five trials, say you get um, like 30 centimeters on average with your jump height in meters that would be 0 0.30 meters. So you're just dividing by 100 for that. Now for the formula that lets you solve for time when you know starting velocity, distance, and acceleration. Well, let's see. This one doesn't have distance. This one has final velocity, which we don't know. So we want this one. Distance equals velocity initial times time plus one half a t squared. I often like to put a little curly q on my t so that way I don't get them confused with plus signs. You can also put like multiplication symbols in between your letters so you don't get them confused with subscripts. Okay, so this is the part that I really wanted to explain how to use your answer from two and acceleration being acceleration due to gravity. Maybe we put a negative sign in there to calculate hang time. So we jump up and back down. So your person, you jump up and then you fall back down. At the top, your velocity is zero. At the bottom, uh, when you jump, you have an initial velocity. And when you land, you have a final velocity. In fact, those are going to be probably the same number. One of them will just be negative, which is a neat thing about projectile motion. But you don't need to know that right now. So we have a time that goes up and a time that goes down. And if I want my hang time, time hang, it's going to be those together. And I know that because it's symmetrical, it's a parabola, they are equal to each other. So I'm going to solve for the second half of time, this half, because it's just going to be way easier. So looking at that, I know some things. I know my initial velocity in this half is zero meters per second. Great. I'm looking for time. I know my displacement is how much I fell which is that negative 30 or 0.3 meters. Uh, I know my acceleration is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. And uh, my V final is unknown, but I don't need to know it. So I'm just going to plug that in for my D equals VIT plus 1 half AT squared in this because V initial is zero. I cross that term out and I'm just going to be solving D equals 1 half AT squared for T. Uh, the algebra for that, I'll do right here for you guys real quick. Multiply just both sides by 2, uh, then divide by A, and then we'll just square root it. Uh, time is always going to be positive, so we'll take the positive root of that. So plugging in our numbers, we get the square root. I'm going to come over here. Time is the square root of 2 times our 0.3 meters, negative divided by our negative 9.81 meters per second squared. And if you look at the units, the meters will cancel. We'll be left with 1 over 1 over meters per or 1 over 1 over second squared, which just becomes second squared. And when you square root it, it gets back to seconds, which is what we want. And we should get t equals some number of seconds. Yours will be different because you probably have a different hang time than this one that I just made up. I hope this helps you solve this. And again, you are uh, more than welcome to attach a different image that does your work for this so you don't have to try and type it all in the box or you can put an image right in the box. Awesome. Good luck guys.